a historic person, but clearly used by uh, the author Pushkin to describe basic phenomena of political life. In the play, he is only one player of, of what's going on. There's a second player that's called the false Dmitri. His name is G Grigory Atrepiev and he was a monk. We have two different political personnel in front in this play. The one is the old fox who knows exactly what to do because he reigned already for many years in the Russian state before becoming Tsar. And by killing this obstacle who is the legitimate successor, he had the chance to get to the throne of the Tsar. And he governed also quite long and so he had to try to maintain his power that he could and that was not easy for him. You know, on the other hand, somebody who was very young and had no experience and tried with this means of being an actor to manipulate the people and to ask with the help from the Polish king to uh, conquer the throne of Moscow. These different aspects of power, the one hand typical political power of, of the very clever guy for years and years and years of experience and the totally unexperienced young guy who only with his fantasy and his populist discourses was able to get to power. Andrei Severin is a very good actor and very good actors help always to make a good show. This is the basis. Without actors with talent, what, what, what can the director do? Nothing, absolutely nothing. He has also enough experience to help younger actors also to go get a deeper into the text and so forth. And so uh, it is obvious that uh, Angie helps me quite a lot. The scenograph and I, we try to present for every scene, so sometimes are very short, uh, three minutes or four minutes maximum, present a certain kind of image. But in fact, the stage is always empty. Only some elements enter the stage and leave the stage when the scene is over. 22 scene changes, can you imagine? 22 scene changes is a nightmare. Hopefully we we'll find when we go to on stage, but up to now we are working uh, in the rehearsal stage upstairs, uh, that uh, we can achieve the highest degree the quick scene changes. These are 140 costumes, even sometimes more, because we try to have as much as possible people, because these are three elements in the show. It is Paris, the false Dimitri, and it's the people. So it's clear their costumes is a nightmare or they have to change so quickly because if I want not that you recognize the actor in a different role. They have to, to chair the different parts and so they must change the wig and change the beard and change the costumes, sometimes very, very quick, in maximum 20 seconds. I always say when I went to theater, I wanted to change costume. I wanted to don't go, don't go on stage like I'm clad normally. I want to get like an Indian or like a lion or I don't know what I want to make a kind of disguising of myself. This is the fun of theatre. This is very difficult for a director to formulate an invitation. But uh, in any case, we will have a lot of images, very different images, a very beautiful music and uh, an enormous lot of good actors. So what, what do you want more? And you will learn a story, a story uh, of history of Russia, where Poland is involved. So it's not absolutely not from interest for Polish people. And who is a symbol for the political problems that we have also today.